On the table today at Squirrel Stampede, we are going into disguise with Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Playmates Ninja Elite Series. Thank you Playmates Toys for sending over this great collection of retro and modern Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles items. We're gonna first look at these ultra fancy Ninja Elite series from Nickelodeon Playmates and then over onto some retro giant sized turtles from the past. Lots of amazing turtles, things are coming for the year 2020 squeeze, so it's exciting to reboot myself back into the universe of turtles. Let's begin and see how disguised these turtles can be. Mikey! Yeah, Leo? That squirrel's got our pizza. It's just a squirrel, like Master Splinter. He'll share. Uh oh, Ninja Turtles. I only have one shot. It is I, Ninja Squirrel. Back away from the pizza. Back away. Uh oh, Leo. Ninja Squirrel's worse than the foot. We forfeit the pizza to the squirrel. You have good katana skills, squirrel. We'll get you next time. What are you looking at? Are you trying to steal Ninja Squirrel's pizza? I'll show you who it is. Oh, Nickelodeon Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles inspired by the 1990 movie Ninja Elite series Leo in Disguise along with Mikey. Funny, I just watched this movie again recently and to see these on shelf it's pretty fun. Playmates Toys Ninja Elite. Action figures include all your favorite characters from 1984 to today. Celebrate! There are many eras with six-inch action figures dressed and decorated in detail outfits and fully articulated to fight evil. 34 points of articulation. It's funny with these guys, just watching the movie, I just feel like we've only saw Raph in the disguise. Was that true? I gotta rewatch it again. Uh, but they are often always in full disguise on the cartoon and many other times, so you get the point. Nothing says business casual like a fedora and a trench coat and a shell, right? The four Ninja Turtle brothers, Leo, Raph, Mikey, and Donnie, may be green, but that classic camouflage isn't going to cut it in New York City. When the Foot Clan fills the city streets and news with crime, it's time for the Turtles to sneak out of the sewers and defeat the Shredder. Or maybe just grab some pizza and a movie. Since now I'm just now picking up some of these Nickelodeon TMNTs, I am not exactly sure if they've done Donnie and Raph yet. Funny, Raph should be the one most likely done, so maybe they did do Raph first, but Leo and Mikey are two of my most favorite turtles. Let's see what we can do with Leo here. Box design is pretty terrific with these. Got a nice open window while we have them, so you can display inside or out. That bio I just read on the back, pretty nice. And it's got some nice movie graphics around. Getting Leo out. Wow, they went full zip tie with these. These are not coming out easily. And Leo is out. It is always a challenge to mix fabric with action figure, but they pulled it off with the trench coat series. I think it's because the trench coat on a turtle is always so goofy that now when replicated in toy form it just looks perfect. That trench coat and hat fit Leo perfectly. We have Leo out, let's just get Mikey as well and see how they look together. Cowabunga, it's Mikey. So there we have both 90s inspired trench coat turtles out ready to fight and defend or grab pizza. Mostly grab pizza. Both of them looking terrific in their trench coats. Look how their shell sticks out the back. Yeah, there's not a turtle under there. It's just a regular guy, of course. They even stitched in a nice little trench coat belt there. Buttons on the front. And the fedora. The fedora is soft and fuzzy. I can't believe they went to the trouble of flocking the fedora. It's fuzzy and soft. Gives them a really nice, real like listic appearance. It's perfect. Except for maybe a little package rub on Mikey's there. Blocking, it's not perfect, it sometimes rubs off. As for accessories, they each have their classic weapon set. Leo with katanas, Mikey with chucks, Mikey's chucks are even metal. I love it when they do a metal chain in between. That's a really bonus plus detail, a metal chain. Extra strength, extra shine, extra lethality. So now we're gonna do something I never thought we would really be doing on the channel, and that is undressing a turtle like a doll. I mean, they have a fabric uh, coat on. How did these coats come off? I think these belts even are looped together. We have the belt looping in, we pull this off, and we take off Leo's coat, and it is Velcroed. And we can now see our full turtle underneath. 
So we are kind of sort of inspired by the 90s movie. The color tone is going to be more deep greens, all turtles probably closer together than what, say, we saw in the cartoon. However, there really is no movie detail. Usually when you go with the movie detail series, they add some little pockmarks, some specks here and there, some realistic turtle detail, and that's not really there, unfortunately, with these. And in fact, I'm not sure, but their head sculpts might be just what their animated action figures look like. I believe these are reproductions of their animated versions, just toned down deeper for the movie verse with these awesome trench coats. <laughs> so let's get Mikey out too. Pull the cord and go for it. And there we have the two uncoated. So again, the style is movie verse green, a little more shaded, but just not detailed like you would see in the movies. Their head sculpts really fill the animated version maybe, or maybe just something in between movie and animated. Their body style's pretty plain, but full of articulation. So they're gonna be able to be really coolly posable, and that's always the fun, exciting part. And standing together, these two are looking fairly equal, only with their bandanas colorized, that's a movie verse thing. Whereas in the cartoon, to show who everyone is easier, they had color bands all over. Let's find the 34 points of articulation. 34 points, that's a lot. So of course, we have to start with head rotation, probably full 360. Usually these are on ball joints or a big noggin ball joint. Shoulders on pin hinges to reach out, also with another point after the shoulder. A double hinged elbow, probably helpful with those bands around the elbow cuffs there. That way you've got more movement ability and plenty. Uh, then there is wrist rotation for rolling around that wrist. And then also finger. There's jointed fingers. Do we count each finger as a joint or both of them together? I'm not sure. That thumb is articulated too. So there is a lot of articulation on those hands, which is good and bad. I've noticed they kind of hold on to their weapons at time. There is a little bit of a, a groove in there, a cylinder groove to hold on to the roundness of the weapon, but sometimes he does drop the weapon. So not the biggest excitement over over articulated fingers in that regard. Uh, then we've got torso. There's an upper torso kind of, it's encumbered by his shell uh, belt, but there is a ridge there to rotate and I don't believe there's anything else in there. Oh, this is easier from here. If you grab on from the side, I was trying to grab here, and if you grab down here, then you've got a little bit of play there. So, okay, that's pretty good. Pretty good movement there. Going down to the hips, we've got hips on ball joints, and then another uh, joint right after that to move the thigh, then double hinged knees. I like that, especially again because of the pads. There's an ankle, and then back down to the toes. Two toes on articulation. That is fully set up. Over on the back, he's got his gear popped into his shell. So that's 34, huh? Let's see if I can count this down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, and somewhere else there's 34. So yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure there's 34 in there. I was able to count most of them. It just depends on how many thumbs and fingers you're gonna count. And of course, that's gonna be the same with Mikey. Are you okay, Leo? He's a little bit dizzy from the articulation count. Let him rest for a second. Mikey's going to be pretty much the same thing. It feels like the turtles are about the same, although we've got a different shell structure here, obviously, because he doesn't have the belt going around. He's got the side belt, which I love Mikey's uh, holders for his chucks on the back. Always one of my favorite things. They fit in so well. But yeah, there is plenty here to move these guys and fight. Popping out their weapons, easy to do. Maybe the only challenge, again, is the grip on the weapons. Hey, let's put a fedora on him. It looks really cool and he's ready for battle. So pretty good articulation, feels pretty tight. Sometimes when they're over full, they start to fall down on their articulation, but I think we're okay at the moment. I think I kind of like the trench coat though more. I think I will just have them built with their coats and they can kind of move around behind the scenes in the toy studio. All right, let's give these turtles some stress to deal with the Shredder Ninja Elite series. This is cartoon classic TV inspired. This is my favorite. I do like the trench coats, but I think I would like to collect more of the classic Turtleverse look. 
There's a style and a cartoony campiness to this series that is unreproducible by any series, so it's always fun. And this may be the best shredder I have ever seen for the cartoon. I'll have to dig out my old shredder here in just a second. So same Ninja Elite series bio from before, but now instead we've got something evil is afoot in New York City and it's called the Foot Clan when the Shredder learns of Splinter's whereabouts in the city it's up to the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and their friends to protect New York from their sensei's longtime rival. The heroes in a half shell have got a lot more on their plate than just pizza. I always appreciate a good backstory or bio card on the back of box, makes them a little more fun and Shredder looks total fun. Great box design with this one, obviously heavily inspired now by the comic series. We've got imagery on the sides from the show. Got a nice picture window of Shredder inside. Again, enjoy these while they last. I think we're going to slowly move away from picture windows and toys, but for now we can look at Shredder, display Shredder back in box if we need to. That is, if we can get him unshredded from all these zip ties. They really anchored these down tight. Oh, we even have some original weapon sets that these figures would have in the old school Playmates Turtles line of pieces. Let's shred Shredder out. And there, the Shredder. Care for a nice trench coat? No. Okay. Probably, possibly the best animated Shredder figure I've ever seen or had. Oh, Mikey. Sorry. As the classic animated Shredder figure that I've had to deal with over the years is a little stumpy. This new Shredder tall. Powerful, wise, and sharp. This old Shredder, kind of short, stumpy, demoralized. Nice eyebrows. So it's cool to see this modern Shredder. I can almost just use this with my classic line. It would be a perfect fit. I think they did a version sort of similar to that back in the day. I'm gonna have to look up, but never as good. This one's full of articulation, full of detail, full of perfect scaling. This is totally the balanced figure of the day. Even has a cape to rest on. Ah, the comfort Scotch Guard cape keeps you standing. So Shredder here also with 34 points of articulation. Of course, you'll want to be careful. You don't want to cut off your hand. Uh, head rotation possibly up there, of course. Cape rotation, is that a point of articulation? Maybe even shoulder pad flipping? Oh, there is, there's articulated shoulder pads. That's funny, you can lift them up and then you can get to the shoulders which are uh, rotationable and a pin hinged um, in there. Double jointed elbow, which is perfect. You can really get him into those thinking positions. Oh, I really want to get those turtles. Um, and then wrist rotation. How is this going to be 34? This is much different than the turtles already. Uh, the same thing on the other arm. Upper torso uh, rotation there to spin and move and get into cool positioning. Uh, nothing really in the lower waist. Kind of thought we'd see waist rotation. Hips are in there for uh, something, either pulling out, ball jointed, hard to tell what's going on, but there is some some movement points. You could probably sit him down in a weird seated position. Uh, double jointed knees and uh, an ankle in there. So that somehow adds up to 34. Did I read that right? Let's check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I only get 20 points. I think the turtles are only the 34 pointed articulators. With those hands with the multiple fingers and the feet with the toe jointing, you don't see that with Shredder as he tries to destroy the package here. He really wants to shred that up. I mean, calling the shoulder pads articulated was kind of a long shot, so he's not as full. He's more around 20 points. 18 points. So 18, 18 figure wise, 20 with those articulated shoulder pads. But that's not saying it's a bad figure. This is one of my most favorite shredders I've ever seen. Again, I'm going to use this as my classic shredder go to when fighting my classic turtles. The scale with this guy is so perfect to the original line. Look at there. There's an original wrap. He's standing much shorter uh, waist height of this shredder. So four against uh, one will be a perfect battle setup with this new shredder. He's kind of grumpy. So lots of these Ninja Elite series figures out. There's Triceraton. Playmates sent that one over too. I think I'll leave this one in pack as I'm more interested in just the classic core of characters. Triceraton more towards the end when they start getting a little more spacey, I believe, although I can't completely remember the sequence of events in the cartoon. Another really nice looking figure though, this one probably entirely newly sculpted with uh, the headpiece there, arms, 
torso, legs, all of that had to be brand new, I would suppose, unless he's sharing some arms with Rocksteady or something, or to say, uh, good weaponry with this one. Good paint, great overall paint. Uh, the legs, nice turquoise, purple, uh, or, uh, blue nose, uh, horn paint there, so standing really terrifically cool. Bio, is the bio the same? No, the bio is about the same. This one, they may have got the articulation points right, though. This says 18 points, and that would and that would line up closer to what Shredder had. The shoulders, elbows, knees, and feet. It's those toes and hands that really add up some articulation. So awesome to see the Elite Series. I'm gonna leave these guys in trench coats because I think they look the best. I do not have trench coated figures of turtles, so that's where I like them. Possibly placing them in the back of a shelf somewhere as they're just trying to blend in. The big surprise with turtles this year is the retro big figures. There we go, Leonardo the giant sized original 1989 turtles. Reissue for the modern age. These were the rage back in the day. If you had a favorite turtle, mine was Leo usually because of blue. You would pick yourself up a giant turtle, which were close replicas of the figures in a way. Kind of the same thing, same articulation, just only giant sized with weapons and even squishy heads. And there this year they rebooted the original collection. You can find all four. Leo, Mikey, Raffi, Donnie, all available. They're so cool. What do we got for cartoon up here? About the Turtles, catapulted from indie comic origins to superstardom by the original Mirakami Wolf Swenson animated series. TMNT ran on air for nearly a decade, 87 through 96, over 190 episodes, lots to digest. And old school packaging, always full of things like this. The evolution of the turtles. A boy's bowl of pet turtles falls into the stench of an underground city sewer and land on Splinter, a penniless but powerful ninja master who lives in the muck. <laughs> Why is he living in the muck like that? You know he can rent an apartment somewhere. Of course, Splinter's enemy Shredder, leader of the evil Foot Clan, pours a disgusting green ooze over Splinter and accidentally the turtles, hoping to zap him dead. There's so many variations of how the ooze got to them. This one may be the weirdest. Instead, the turtle pets mutates into turtles and Splinter turns into the biggest rat ever to face a trap. So I get the turtles, why they evolved. Not exactly sure why he turned into a rat. Maybe because he was in the sewer with rats. Splinter, the big cheese leader, teaches the turtles the ways of the ninja. And so you get these awesome toys. I love the little bio back there. But the toy here is certainly not little. Let's see if we can untie this one. All of these turtles in some of the most heavy zip of tie. So if you do this right and cut all the ties with the scissors, you can remove your turtle nice and clean and still have a nice box to display in. You can just replace, you don't need all this extra stuff, but just place your turtle inside and stand and you've got a great display box. But there we go, an enormous Leo. Only drawback to this series is one weapon. Leo should have two, so you're gonna have to buy two of these if you really wanted to go authentic. So I have always had the most fondness for Leo over the years, mainly because blue is my favorite color. I like the leadership skills of Leo too, it's kind of fun. He feels a little thinned down in a way compared to a normal turtle. I think their back shells would stick out a little more than that. So they kind of had to shrink him down a little bit. I don't have an original one of these to know if they're exactly the same, but I'm pretty sure they are, or pretty close as a lot of the retro-inspired toys from Playmates are usually almost exact to what we got back in the day. He certainly looks really close to what we saw. Nice, sturdy hard shell on the back, kind of a rubbery belted system. All the bands of color with the cartoon series, unlike the movie that just kind of had them leather and belted. Articulation with these, probably the Simple 7. Let's see here. Head rotation, 360. I love that the heads are squishy again, but I don't want to over-squish. Shoulder rotation, a little tight as it was in pack. And we've got uh, elbow rotation here. That'll make up for the wrist. So instead of wrist, there's elbow rotation. And then nothing really in the waist to talk about. It is solid. And then hips, and that's about it. Oh wait, there's something under the knee. So that'll add up to nine points, nine points. And that's pretty good for a giant sized figure. You do not want to have too many points as they might start to fatigue on themselves and fall over. What a figure, what a cool looking figure. He's so huge. He's gotta go up on my back shelf for a while. And again, very close to the original, just missing an extra weapon set. So if you like the other turtles, more available, of course, there's Michelangelo. And you can see they've got the green colors changing. Mikey more in a bluish green, one set of chucks. There's Donnie. Donnie got a little bit head shaved 
uh, in the box, the ship box. A little bit of a head head buff there, but since he's a darker brown, it kind of disappears. So Donnie looking good. I love the deepness color of Donnie in this series. They really did well with him. Also with the bow staff, squishy head, and a fan favorite. Raph. And Raph actually has both sides included. I'm glad they were able to include both. He would look so awkwardly balanced without both sides. So Raph is out there too. Raph probably the most basic green out of the four. This series, they're all basically scaled to one another. Raph wasn't so as big as you see in modern series now. But a fun, fun retro collection to see from Playmates. So that's the Ninja Elite series. What do you think? Great turtle toys from Playmates. Thank you again, Playmates, for sending over such an awesome collection. Such a retro feeling to see these old giant turtles. If you liked today's video, please give us a squike, a squirrel live, squamit, your favorite turtle. Of course, lots of turtle stuff coming in the year 2020 squee, so stay tuned. Thank you so much for watching. That's what I have to say about that.